what is what it do you to this uh, Crexus here and today I'm gonna be looking at the uh, new Halo Infinite gameplay that just came out and give you some of my thoughts and opinions on what actually just went down now I did have an initial reaction but uh, I was watching a different live stream and I wasn't recording so that's just gone I could do a very fake one but <laughs> It wouldn't be the same, but anyway, um, let's 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 uh watch as this goes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, first, first thing, right here, when I first saw this, like instantly gave me Orient Blind Forest vibes. Like as soon as I saw the blue and the orange, I was like. This reminds me of Ori and the Blind Forest just immediately. And I found that interesting. And also with this with the um portal, I was thinking like what else did it remind me of? And I and I just threw out the name Jack and Daxter because of that one portal in it. And you know what? I still stand by it. That is hilarious. So just just from the from the title screen alone, Ori and the Blind Forest Jack and Daxter. This is going off to a good start. <laughs> also, I'm watching an IGN video. <laughs> Am I dead already? Uh, I must be, I mean, this is impossible, right? Yeah, but this is death. Alright, so another thing that I noticed, let me uh, at least put this to like this, but um, another thing I noticed, and this was after I watched it like several times, in this scene when he's talking, I don't know if it's just me, but his expressions seems like one of those videos where they put the expression up like two to three hundred percent. And every time, like, someone replayed it, I could just never unsee how much his mouth and expression moved. Like, yeah, it's supposed to be expressive, but then that seems a little bit, like, over, <laughs> over expressive. Let me see if I could, if you, like, notice. And if you do, then, <laughs> oh well. If it can freaking load! <laughs> Oh my god, is that a possum? No. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, like, that, I just, ever since I saw it, I just can't unsee it. Like, it just seems very, very expressive. But then everything else with him talking, it was fairly fine. It was just that one part. That was just my thing to point out. But, 
something I remember after watching a whole bunch of videos is people were talking about how there should be seamless transition, as in it wouldn't like cut the black and then you know start. It would just like be within the cutscene that you just like you know what I mean by seamless transition as what just happened instead of having you know cut the dark and yada yada. And that is pretty nice, you know. Could you just imagine just your like there's a cutscene going on, you're falling out the sky, you crash, and then there's a whole bunch of enemies, and then instead of it like saying, Oh, we have to get up and fight, cut the black, and then the enemies are there, you, it says you have to get to the fight, and then it seamless transitions and you picking up a gun and then just start walking. That's that's nice. But our here already just looking right here. The environment looks pretty, pretty nice. You know, got the green, got the blue, got the gray. You know, the three colors that make up, got the yellow, the four, that make up every single environment ever. <laughs> and shoot, there's some wildlife right there. The HUD just came on. It's got the bright. And that's another thing that just reminded me after looking at this. Someone made a comment. That this looks like Minecraft. Only because of basically the four instructions, but I cannot unsee it now. Everything is <laughs> just a very, very. Minecraft 2020 looks amazing right now. <laughs> I, I just can't unsee it. It's so hilarious. And then birds, sort of like armadillos. And as soon, I'm sorry for pausing, but as soon as the uh, fight actually started. One thing I notice is that you can see the projectiles, like, very clearly. And when I first saw this, that really threw me off. I was wondering why... This doesn't seem right. Like, you can easily see the projectiles. I always thought that as... Like, you, I think you're able to see projectiles in all the halos, but this one just seemed very... I don't know, it just seemed very off to me, being able to see the projectiles. <laughs> RB to reload. Also, the shield regeneration. I don't know. I thought it was like I thought it was always blue. So when I saw the yellow, that threw me. That also threw me off. I'm like, was it? Was it shield regeneration like blue or like light green, sort of like this this color? I always thought that's what it was, but maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. I never paid attention to this. I don't know if it's different or not, but you know that that's there. And there's a big, big ship that's just dead. <laughs> you know, big red phantom. You know, just flying all the way over there. And then first thing, sprint. Pretty nice. And I noticed that this was a warthog from a uh, Halo 4. Like as soon as I saw it. Pretty crisp drift. And goes up the hill more wildlife stops looks at the map pretty big not gonna lie I really want to hurry up and play this and as everyone says it gives me destiny vibes looks at the Sun and then starts driving makes a jump I'm surprised that didn't flip over Hits an exploding grunt, hits a jackal, and melees that grunt. Alright, and then instant hit. <laughs> and then an instant headshot. You don't even get a chance to fight. So, you know. Peep, I remember people were complaining about the weapon. Like, later, but I'm just gonna bring it up now. Um, I didn't really think of anything about it, because Halo 2 Anniversary... Sort of had, like, pistols like this, but, you know, had the green. And people were talking about, like, oh, they didn't like it, it's not Halo. But that made me think. There's still, like, people uh, in Halo. They Maybe not on the rings, but I'm pretty sure there are still people in the universe. So I was thinking of this as, like, probably, like, an army. Not 
I think you want to, I don't know. But I was thinking, like, army, this was just a regular army pistol. And not, you know, UNSC, because, you know, UNSC, army, different weapons. <laughs> but yes, there's Grunt, there's Halo 4 Grunt, there's, a uh, Halo 2 Elite, you know, effects, another gun, different gun, and when I noticed the Elite, there was something off. It was very, very bright. Uh, I think saturation is the word I'm looking for. Like, very saturated. You can see the blue. Like, if you put him in a gray background, he would pop out, like, a lot compared to, like, a uh, navy blue. Okay, that very bright blue would pop out a lot compared to a navy blue to a gray background. Up oh, yellow, yellow shields again. That too. When I, when I first, <laughs> when I first saw this, like as soon as the uh, brutes came out, I was like, oh shoot, there go the brutes. I feel bad for that first one. <laughs> he didn't even get a chance. He comes out screaming, oh I'm gonna kill you, and then you just throw a grenade and walk away. Like yo, what? The and then he just blows up. He doesn't even get a chance to fight. <laughs> like, really? You just gonna spawn kill, kill him like that? That's so disrespectful. <laughs> just gonna get a gun. Shoot him. You don't even get... You don't even kill him with a headshot. You just like, you know what, I'm tired of this. And you just throw a grenade at him. He doesn't even get out the animation and he's already dead. That's, that's disrespectful. Oh, no. That's a very meaty punch, but two things. One, I don't think anybody really commented on this, but when the brute was running, he, uh, Chief was shooting at the leg, and after enough damage, he actually staggered a bit. Like, I only saw two videos, so don't quote me on that, but like, he was staggering after enough shots to the leg. So I assume, I don't know if this was in every Halo, but I assume that it's going to be tactical advantage as in like oh I get a sniper and there's a sniper over there or there's a big beefy person let me just damage their arm so their uh, accuracy isn't as good or let me damage their legs so then I can run away or they can't run away or they run away at a very reduced speed there was that and also I think it was hidden XP or Halo, or no, I think it was Halo Fall. I forgot. It was one of those two, because it was the only one I saw. One of them, and I think it was Halo Follower, that he said that the Brutes run like people and not like more savage. And I thought about that. I was like, yeah, you know, that's true. But then I also thought about it. It's Atriox, so maybe they're like, you know what? We're not going to be savage as the goddamn prophets are going to say that, so... They're just gonna go upright and then ha probably have more mobility. I don't know. That, that was my reasoning as in why they're sort of running upright. Um, uh, yeah. But that was a very meaty punch. You know, shield of Destiny. Honestly, in my opinion, there was not enough ragdoll. Okay, he died mid-air. And I didn't see enough wailing in the air, okay? That's that's not Halo. They are not wailing in the air after they die. That this is a fake Halo. What do you mean? <laughs> but with a grappling hook, I I thought of Titanfall. I'm not even gonna lie. And I'm pretty sure many people did. Cause Titanfall. This is basically Titanfall 3. Confirmed. <laughs> Halo, Halo Infinite is just Titanfall 3. Just reskin. <laughs> but yeah, normal looking pistol.
Oh yeah, and you can see the objective right here. And that big thing in the back. And more wildlife! Oh my god! <laughs> And more of the wildlife. Oh my eye. And that right there. Okay, people pointed out that that looked very, very scripted as you saw the little bump. Like if it would have just went down and then curved, they wouldn't have been able to tell. But that little bump, that's something that should not have, you know, happened. Because we're not in the game breaking stage yet. Oh shoot, did I miss it? I don't know. I'll, I'll come back to that later, but uh... Yeah, we're not in the game-breaking stage yet where you could stop peop stop the enemies from going to their paths and then completely reducing it. That should not have happened yet. <laughs> How dare you not get a headshot, you're trash! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> but um... Yeah, you know, a grunt, a suicide grunt just coming out of nowhere, just out of thin air, trying to dunk the goddamn plasma grenades on Chief, but Chief wasn't going for it, shot him out midair and went past him. That's how you do, and that's how we gonna continue. Jacko shield, annihilated. Yeah, see, I don't know if this is like high explosive or that's just how, no, I don't know, I guess it just must be brute weapons. The fact that it's just going easily through Jackal Shields, basically making them non-existent, that's pretty helpful. Let's say if they don't change this, in case there's like a shielded enemy, this could probably be one of the weapons that you could use to take down the shields fast. I don't know if that's for all plasma weapons or brute plasma weapons or just this one in particular, but it basically just negated the Jackal Shield immediately. Yeah, this gun, I was trying to figure out what the name of it was, because I wasn't paying attention. I was like, this gun reminds me of something from Halo. What is it? What is it? I can figure out. Watch the video. It reminded me of the Mauler. I couldn't think of the name, but it reminds me of the Mauler. And I realized that, and I, when I saw it shoot, I was like, this, this isn't the Mauler. Wasn't it like a pistol shotgun? <laughs> but this, this isn't. waste two headshots you don't even get a grenade now when I first saw this that was that made me die laughing cuz I immediately thought of let's say they had this and multiplayer right I instantly thought of freaking someone being on the highest point in the map grapple uh, something that explodes in like one of the funny montages, grapple, and then they throw it like halfway across the map, and then it just kills someone, and then the game's over, they win. That's like the first thing I thought of when I saw that. It was hilarious. So that grenade, um, I think it took like a really long time to explode. Because he threw it, and I didn't see an explosion for, like, the good second. And since I'm finally watching this, I heard it. But that just, like, as soon as I saw it the first time and second time, I was like, so is there no explosion? Then I agree, it just not work. But, yeah, it just, I just didn't hear it the other times. Oh yeah, that reminds me, someone pointed out, I forgot who it was, but that the uh, elites, um, shields, are like very, very full. 
is a word that they use, and I see it, because the way that the shields are set up, it's sort of like thin strands. I'm, I'm trying to see like thin strands after they take enough damage. Now when they start taking damage, it's like sort of sort of honeycomb like, but not exactly as uniform. Sort of like honeycomb. It was like that, but now it seems like it's sort of a a whole another layer that's very probably like 90% full instead of like 20 to 30% full, and that's like a big difference. And they're shielding. But yeah, you know, brutes from god dang Halo Thrust. Long range shotgun. Yellow shield. Grunt from Halo 4. Gone. Yellow shield. <laughs> Now, when he said that line, I thought he's, he was going to say, I would tell you it was difficult, but I'd be lying. That's what I thought he was going to say, but no, he said it wasn't, so, eh, personal preference. We are one when I saw that, I was surprised that literally every, every single one, except for the Pelican, I think Pelican, Every single one was deceased, and every and everything on it said infinity. So I was thinking that at least some of it would be still green, but no, every single one of it deceased, and they all had infinity. UNSC only all infinity. Okay, so, that was a very smooth transition. I like that. And at this point in time, like, I know he's still talking to Chief, but in my mind, I could imagine, I could picture this as him talking to another brute. Like a brute miner. Or, wait, no. Because I doubt they're just conversing with other brutes like, oh, I'm higher ranking you, I'll tell you this personally. Probably like the one that will probably be one or two levels under him. I can imagine him saying what he's about to say. And while I'm on the topic of this already being paused, this, I know it's in game, but I really thought this was going to be like way, way more detailed, as in like pre rendered type detail, but it wasn't. And I was like, oh, that's sort of weird. But, you know, all got to be in-game, because if you put another pre-render, people going to be like, Oh, no, that's uh, that's not how it looks. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> because if you have if you have a game that's 10 out of 10, but then the graphics in-game are 1 out of 10, that's going to be looking real funny if you just switch it every single time. So I can understand why they didn't do that. But I can just imagine, like, more creases and higher res. And I don't know. There's there's like a certain thing that I'm miss missing. May maybe glossiness, but I don't. I'm not entirely sure.
So yeah, literally, I can imagine that being that like those exact lines, except for a Spartan being said to like a brute one or two ranks under him, as you know, inspiration. But uh, I imagine his breath smells terrible. <laughs> like he was breathing. I was like, oh my god, his him breathing. That was already a pause in itself. And then I just thought about it. His breath must smell terrible. Especially with those teeth. Oh my god. And then his lips. My guy. His lips. And the way he's talking. Ooh. I don't know whatever happened to him right there. But that affected his whole lips everywhere. Is now. He always. He speaks like me. With a slight uh, tinge to the left or right. Without even noticing it. That drink is hilarious. Freaking god dang big teeth muncher word. <laughs> Where is it? Where's that? Uh, I don't know if it's in here or if it's in the other one. Where? No, right here. Right here. Is it before this or is it after this? Uh, here. That made me think, like, with all the affinity being dead, that this could be the wreckage. And it just, like, spans over a long, a large distance. And the speculation, like, him, he, had to go out on a... I don't know. I, I can't think of a situation where he'd have to be out, and then the entire infinity is just completely obliterated. And he's not there. And Master Chief survives. That, I can't think of a clear situation of where that'd be. So, another thing that people were um, talking about is how the Halo, how this Halo looks very, very cartoony. Which is, which like other people, I can see what they mean. Someone pointed out, I can't remember exactly who it was, but someone pointed out that, oh, it's not glossy enough. Um, it looks like god dang Minecraft, updated, freaking, you know, just everything in between. But one thing that I think that could make it somewhat better, ugh, ugly person, but, uh, <laughs> ooh, Roblox, ooh, Lego, oh yeah, but yeah, one thing I think that could make it better is that all the bright colors, like all the overly vibrant colors, like turn down the saturation or make it darker. Because this is giving me Halo Wars 2 vibes. As in like everything is brightly colored so you're able to see on the map from far distances. And like these could be just like direct imports but scaled up and slightly more modeled textures of the people, characters and such from Halo 2. Just port it to, you know, first person shooting. Uh, like, just tone down the colors. Now, maybe the environment. I think the environment, myself personally, is fine. But just the enemies, the way that they're, um, you know, colorized and such, is that they're just very, very vibrant. Like, where's that? Where's that elite? Hold up. Uh, right here. Like, as you can see, he's very, very blue, right? Like, this is a perfect example of what I mean. He's very, very vibrant. This reminds me of Halo 2, and I think it's supposed to, but, like, he's a very, very vibrant blue. If you were to, like, tone down his colors, because I didn't really hear people complaining about the models. I don't, the only model I heard complain was, uh, I think, like, the Brutes, because they look like Lego. They're, ba they're basically just scaled up Lego pieces, but yeah, just tone down the colors, either make it darker or less saturation. I think if there is nighttime, as you as uh, pointed out, sort of, kind of, how it's very bright, and then towards the end, it gets, like, darker. Like, hold up. Uh, yeah, like, right here. Mm -hmm. Like, as you can see, 
the sun very bright in the open nice trees very blocky very minecraft uh i feel like the, the reason people say minecraft because like i just said how blocky it is and you know i could see it but one thing i think they could do to make it less quote unquote minecraft like is add add damage okay i don't want to see everything like oh everything is perfectly straight up add like oh bits and chunks and pieces are off a little bit more dirt here and there like because it just seemed like someone just moved it up it doesn't seem like oh someone lifted it from the ground and well then again this is a ring so it wouldn't technically be like you know very un ununiform because you know someone had to have moved it up from the ground but you know add damage add little chunks here and there add peace like when he looks over here like if this is in ruin from a war it would be like chunks and pieces he'd look over here and then you'd see a piece just fall off everything is just so gritty and dirty and dusty and all this in between to, to make it look less minor. like put it basically put like rocks here instead of just straight pillars that's basically it just like rocks okay this I know it's not supposed to look natural but it could be alleviated from the minecraft look if these just looked natural instead of very very man-made if you if you get what I'm saying but back to what I was saying earlier of how it's very bright out here and then later in the same play like you can see how it's getting all sunset like and I'm pretty sure they had to like accelerate this for the demo but maybe then like when it's nighttime or like really dark then the vibrant can like sort of kind of come out and um uh, you know for eye purposes so you can see better that's that's the thing I'm I think I'm gonna go with like because that that seems like a somewhat valid excuse like oh my god the enemies are really really bright they're very vibrant they look very cartoony and that could be the situation at nighttime so you can see but um also with the cartoony thing someone said and I'm not gonna remember who but it's not cart I think it was hidden but it's not cartoon it's um stylized that's the word like it's very stylized as in like oh yeah you know everything could be you know realistic if you just add scrapes everywhere and put textures i guess now that i think about it is everything really even like texture it just seems like everything is just colored it's just like very very flat color with a little bit of shine on it just I just I just really noticed that like yeah this you can see it some words is like and it's etched in there this looks uh this looks like a BB gun like just from the steel frame this looks like a goddamn BB gun that someone would just go and buy huh was that physics I just saw for the bullet chamber Yes, it was. That is amazing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, as you can see right here, like, you can, the grunt sort of, um, you sort of blend in, but you can definitely see the elite right here because he contrasts from the, from the background. So you can clearly see that he is more of a threat than these two, given the more vibrant colors, as also he's standing taller than them, you know the situation and also the all the effects that I noticed let me go where was that a uh, explosion earlier what I don't think it was no it wasn't that I think it was a second one no not right there close 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 was it right here? No. No, but there was, um... I'm just gonna go back to the first run then. Because I'm pretty sure there was like two of them though, but I can't remember where the second one was. 
I think it might have been close to here, though. Well, like I said, I'm surprised that when the Warthog landed, it didn't just completely flip over. But yeah, the effects are very... Oh yeah, so it is up here. It is up here. Do -do. Go down. Kill the Elite. Get that melee. Yeah, right there. Shoot. Very, very, very just... Like, 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 that's the only word I can really think of, just vibrant. Just very contrast with the background. Everything is sort of darker tone. And this is just a very, very blue emissive that you can probably see from miles away. Compared to everything else, how it's all dark and stuff. But like I said, everything just looks like it's been very, very simply modeled. And just put a, a diffuse color on it. Like, no other shaders or anything else. It's just basic diffuse. And I think that's one thing that gives it a cartoony, cartoony look. Just the fact that no actual, I'm pretty sure there's like tons of detail in this. And they like built the engine from the ground up as I said. But how everything is just, you know, basic. Like if you, if you knew how to create a 3D model... Just like, only thing you knew, you only knew how to create 3D models, right? So you would be, you'd model this, and then you'd color it. That's basically, oh wait, that's basically what this, uh, what this demo looks like. And that gives it a, uh, especially since it has not very dark colors, and has very vibrant ones, that's what gives it a, um, cartoon feel in my opinion. Is that very quote unquote simple modeling? No, actually, very complex modeling, but very simple coloring. That's, yeah, very simple coloring, but complex modeling. Quote unquote. Because it already takes a lot to model a whole person, then you have the gun. And these are probably like human, more human weapons, more civilian army. Civilian army weapon compared to like UNSC and probably Spartan weapons like that's that's what I got from from these two and That's uh That's really how I how I see it. It was like and also the you know Everything's so simple Freaking brute just running at you full force god dang can just have a meme out of that right there very meat punch picks up something you can pick up a fusion coil and god dang throw it uh titan ability from destiny you know the same old same old that you'll hear tons of people saying like throughout if you throughout your review or throughout your um watching of various videos you'll hear people talk about how they don't like the art style direction all that stuff now, personally, in my opinion, I enjoy this, because I enjoy Destiny, and this is basically Destiny, am I right? But no, um, I'm, I do actually enjoy this, uh, Halo, open world, just first person, seems like a pretty, pretty game, alright, don't get me wrong, pretty game, also, legendary number after that reload, but, pretty amazing game, so far, now, there are criticisms that can be given out. Specifically, that god dang phantom that you saw. But, uh, since I'm not really one to review much and, you know, give critique that well. Besides what you heard from the, um, you know, the pillars and how everything looks cartoony. Like, you know, something that can alleviate that. Like, look, just random debris on the floor. Actually, I don't think, is that even debris, or is that just like a part of, oh no, no, it's debris because the uh, drop pods fell down, but, yeah, like right here, if this was like more, if this was covered, this would look nice, but now you see all the uh, very, very, uh, I can't think of the word, but very uniform right here. Structured, very, very 
man-made structures right here all throughout the bag all right here very flat not very not very good dimension it seems like very very basic uh lighting as in oh light comes from here and goes all over and that's it not very good with lighting but you know simple stuff gosh darn cloud cloud nice sun at least at least uh, the light doesn't stay in like the exact same place like no matter which direction you go at least it's somewhat dynamic and all of that you saw the simple glare that little glitch sort of thing right there still upset that you didn't go for the headshot but secondary takes care of jackal you've seen it all before and yeah it just seems very very man-made and I know they said it was months, but this is very, very pretty for something that was done months ago. Because <laughs> if you defeated the Infinity within months, or that, or they were already set up here, because Halo 2. That, actually, that would make sense. But yeah, you can see right here, it seems like very simple, sort of color, like it's a general color, and put sort of a... A sort of bump map I think that's what might be missing like like it's textured but not really like extruding texture like I think a bump map is what I'm thinking of if my training from 3d is what is allowing me to do this but a bump map isn't like oh it can be very very flat but it looks like it's coming out just go look at you know the textures around you and see how that affects it just like, oh, it can look flat, but it can have at least, like, some extrusion. I think bump maps might be what I'm thinking of, but I'm not entirely sure. Like, right here. Actually, no, I think Master Chief Gloves. As in, it looks sort of flat, but given a texture of... I don't want to say latex. That's not, that's, not what, that's not what it is, but, you know, it sort of seems flat. Flat color. There's no, like, there's no gradient. It's just, bam, bam. Not really like a smooth transition. Probably here is probably the best. Sort of like a smooth transition out. But this just seems like bam bam switch. Instead of actual like smooth transition. It's just like sharp cuts. I think that's one thing. But uh. Good thing to know that you know some of the lighting works. Has some emissions. That's a random grunt in there. Uh, but I think that's it for the gameplay demo, and this whole section should not exist, because he should definitely be dead after that crash, <laughs> but you know, maybe, maybe the harness has some plot armor, because god dang, they have some very, very thick plot armor, not only did he survive the crash, First of all, they survived 160 days after they lost. They, I'm pretty sure they got hit once. No, they didn't get hit. All right. So right here, that's one. They got hit. In any normal Halo story, they're already dead. <laughs> like, they're always talking about take out the anti-air like every Halo at some point. These guys are already dead. This whole thing is just a dream of what could happen. That first shot... God dang killed both of them on site. And just in case they were already surviving, they were crashing, and they got hit with a second anti-air. So, they are double dead. And not only that, not only that, he is going for an emergency and crash landing right here. First of all, so many people already die from god dang emergency crash landings like that. He is somehow still alive. Flap. Just, just flap. But he, he's somehow still alive, and then he crashes, he hits his head, and somehow he still isn't dead. I could believe, okay, I could believe that Master Chief, the legendary plot armor holder himself, can still be alive because of how Halo 3 starts. Not how it ends, how it starts. He comes out crashing from god dang outer space, and he crashes, and he, he's uh, locked up, but he's still alive. And, for some reason, you know, he can't swim. Even, like, very shallow water. They don't have any, like, respiratory things in the 
any water respiratory things in the suit itself, but you know, we'll pass over that right now. I can't believe that he can survive shots like that, okay? I can believe that, but him, him right here, he should not be alive. He should most definitely be dead. And if that's the case, if he's somehow still alive, explain how every other pilot that ever crashes in any game ever, explain to me how do they die, but he doesn't. Don't even explain straps, because all UNSC pilots, they all wear straps to protect, to protect them from this very situation. But anytime you start a mission and they crash, they are dead. So explain to me how this man right here is able to survive. Especially, I don't know if that's just dirt or if that's like, like covering up a scar that he got after the whole war that went on for months, I assume. Tell me how he is alive, okay? I don't, I don't get it. How is he alive? Also... How does he sound again? Because I think. Breathe. No. You don't get to tell me what to do. You don't get to tell me anything. I don't know. Hispanic, maybe. But that's a meme in itself. You don't get to tell me anything. You don't get to tell me what to do. Says that as an 18 year old. But, um. Yeah. Video. I, uh. Right here on God dang. IGN. And right now. People are actually pretty, like right now, this is 4,000 to 1,300 from 43,000. Like, I know it hasn't been that long, but people are very, very split about this. Now, personally, I actually enjoy it, and I would be hopeful to see what happens. And it says holiday 2020, which is is when it's coming out, as in around Christmas so you know it's gonna take some time and I don't know much about game development but I'm pretty sure a few months is not a long time given how everything takes a few months for even like some of the simple stuff but hopefully uh hopefully that they'll be able to do what um uh, what they can, you know, improve on what can be improved, and maybe a multiplayer beta before then, haha, <laughs> just kidding. But a few things I want to touch on before I completely go. Some people don't like sprints, uh, cl camber, clamber, whatever, uh, aiming down sights, and sliding, I don't know. And thrusters. Basically, everything from Halo 5. Uh, honestly, to me, I prefer Sprint. I like that. Uh, clamber, I think is what it was. I enjoy that, because god dang it. I don't want to be ha have to do the very, very tight jump for 5 meters when I could just, uh, you know, clamber at the end at like 4, four meters. And then it pulls me up the last 5. That's not how that works, but you, I hope you get what I'm saying. And sprint goes along with clamber, because, you know, faster, you know, helps with the speed run. Because just walking around, that just seems very, very impractical. Like, yeah, you have got dang vehicles and everything, but at the same time, like, imagine a situation, right, that everything's exploding, you have to get out of there. And then now you're in the you're in actual gameplay. Without sprint, you're just like, oh my god, chief, we have to get out of here. You have two minutes, and then he's just walking. Okay, it's a dire situation. You can die immediately. He's just walking. Okay, that's it. But then, and then you're gonna get out of there in like one minute. But imagine having sprint. It's like, oh my god, chief, we have to get out of here. You can see him just booking it as hard as he can. You have to freaking probably stop for fights here and there, or you just have to freaking melee them and get out the way, and you just have to just go and you know, you just keep booking it, and then you're just going down to the last five seconds, and then you're still running, 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 versus just just walking out. Like wow, very very intense game, very cool. That's that's one reason I prefer Sprint. 
because it actually builds to suspense versus just just walking away. Okay, that's very impractical. But yeah, maybe heavy arm, but whatever. Uh, thrusters. I guess it's a take or leave. No, they didn't show it, but it's it's whatever. Uh, aim down sights. I enjoy aim down sights. Like the way that Halo one, two, and three. I think I don't think four did it, but one, two, three. The way how they aimed down sights, I wasn't a fan. Like honestly, even though I start I play Halo three, I wasn't. A fan. I like aiming down sights. That that's fun to me. And then I can customize reticle and all that other stuff. Call of Duty person, yada yada. But, and especially in Halo 2, they had a silenced SMG with a scope on it. Also in Halo 3 ODST, they had a silenced SMG with a scope on it. And I couldn't aim down the sights properly in either of them. Like, yeah, I can aim, but I don't aim down the sights. Like, that's... What's the point of even having it on there, then, if I can't even use it? That sucks. Just get rid of it, then. Freaking blue-balling me over goddamn aiming down sights, which is just... Ugh. Makes me annoyed. But... I think that's pretty much it. That's all I can think of. Regarding the gameplay, at least. I know that uh, they also did... They also had a post showing the... Uh, Brutes and stuff, and voice actors and screen, and you know, future of Halo Infinite. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just here for the gameplay. Uh, but that's it. I hope you have a good day. And if you're watching this in the future while playing Halo, you know, Godspeed, Master Chief. Stop her. <laughs> Make sure Cortana doesn't, uh, you know, murder everyone. And I hope you guys have a amazing day. Okay. And a Crexus out.